Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be doing a, a quick update video. Uh, some time ago I did a review for the Flav 24 uh, RDA and the tank. Well, I bumped into the guys when I was in Las Vegas at the expo there and they gave me a, a little Evo, Flav Evo to take away and play with. So this is just to show you the RDA and just to point out some differences. Now, it's about £89. I see that Steam Island still have them in stock in the UK and you can get them in many other places across the globe. But uh, essentially, it's a smaller version. It's still 24 millimeters in diameter, but it's a little bit sh shorter. Uh, there are some differences inside as well, but I'll point them out as we go along. So, up close section. Packaging remains pretty much the same. We have Alliance Techs, we have Alliance Techs, Tech, and we've got EVO 24. On the front, you'll find a serial number, which should match up with the Atty itself. Inside, you'll find your device. In the bottom of the box, you will find a standard 510 pin. It came installed with the squonking pin. You've got spare post screws and spare O-rings. The Atty itself is, once again, we're about 24 millimeters in diameter. Uh, but this time, I think it's only about 20 millimeters in height, not including the drip tip or the 510 here. I think the previous one was about 24 millimeters in height. I'll see if I can find a, a photo uh, online that will actually show the difference between the two of them. And also, hopefully, I'll be able to put up a little video just in the corner showing the uh, the review that I did before and give you a rough idea of what the differences are. The other difference is that uh, the airflow. So we now have on each side we have two two millimeter air holes instead of the one slot that we used to have in the old Flav. We still once again up the top here we have a, a beefier, I think it's a bit of a beefier uh, drip tip this than the last one but once again we've got this two part thing going on here that'll pop out like that and this is backwards compatible with the old Flav I do believe but once again I think they've screwed the pooch and uh, I really do think that they should be including you know 810 or 510 drip tip adapters with the RDA uh, I really do I, I just don't think that one should slide dual o-rings going on here everything else is pretty much the same as the old deck uh, we have our serial number here and you can see that yeah it's much the same the screws are different. We've kind of like got a Phillips affair going on here. So you can use any screwdriver you like basically. And this all looks much the same in here, but you can see the air holes are different. And just using a pointy tool here, hopefully that will fit in there. You can see where the air is going to be coming in. So I can air coming in from there and there and the same on the other side. I've had no issue getting any coils in here at all. It's, uh, it's all good. But you can run it, you know, with both air holes open and you, there's a lot of air goes through this. It's quite an airy one. And even just closed down to, you know, the one air hole open, it's still quite an airy atty. But I'll cover that more at the end. Now, just to point out before I, I pop a coil in here, I've just backed the screw off as far as it'll go before it, you know, there's another couple of turns and it'll fall out there. So you can see that you still, you've got plenty of space in there to, you know, drop a fuse clapped and, and no problem at all. And that's what I'm just about to do. As usual, I'm using one of Peter's coils from PC Coils. There, there's no great mystery to putting a coil in here. I'm just basically following the, the coiling rod guide here, a three millimeter inner diameter and just dropping it in. I'll just tighten that up a little bit and get some more hot spots out and then we'll pop some cotton in. Now I'm using the, this is an upcoming mod from Lost Vape. This is their, the, the revisited the drone, uh, DNA 250C and Ultim, but uh, just squonking away here and you know, you're not going to get full coverage over the coil as such, but you do get a fair bit of juice coming up here. Get to about there, and then that's as high as it's going to go. So it's not one that I worry about for squonking or, or you know, getting too much juice in it and coming out the air holes. It's actually quite good in that respect. So we're all wicked up here, and we've got juice on the cotton, and we're just going to pop this top cap on. And, and there we go. We have both air holes exposed, and you can just turn this down, and just have it on one if you want. And you can, you know, dictate if you want, you know, 
change which air hole you want to close off. You can have the outer or the inner. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go back up top and we'll have a vape. So once again, this is a, it's an update to an existing Atty. It's, it's the Flav 24 Evo. It's basically the 24 Flav that you saw before, but it is now shorter. It's got updated screws and it's got airflow that has been changed as well. Does that make any difference? It's been a while since I've used the Flav 24. Uh, the, it's actually the Flav 22 was the one I last used. And I will say that with the single air hole open in this, it, flavor wise, I think it's closer to the 22 than the old 24. That would be my main one. That'd be my main point to make on this. It is a good RDA. There's no two ways about it. It is a good RDA with both air holes open. So you've got four two mil air holes open. It is, it's airy. It is an airy little bugger this. Uh, but it does g gives good flavour from it as well. I mean, that's a, a 0 0.35 ohm coil. I am at 35 watts on this. And once again, that's the new Lost Vape drone that's coming out very, very soon. And, uh, you know, 24 mil just sits on there quite the thing. Uh, I do wish, and I said this about the last Atties as well, I just wish at this price point that they included 510 drip tip or an 810 drip tip adapter. I, I, I really think that should be included and that is my big negative for this Atty. If you want a comparison, I would say with both air holes open, it reminds me of say the, the Legacy, the Hassar Legacy. It's got a similar draw to that. Taking it down to just the one air hole and it's like your, a lot of your other um, single coil 22 millimeter RDAs out there. It's not super restricted. It's, it's still an open direct lung. Um, I, I, and it's just on the limit for me. It's still quite airy. It's not bad. I mean, it's a nice update to an existing Atty. Would I run out and buy it if I already had the Flav 24? Yes, I possibly would. If I had the Flav 22, I don't think I would. I don't think I would. I think I would just stick with the Flav 22. But if I had the Flav 24, I would update to the Evo. Then that's pretty much my take on it. It's, like I say, it's just an update to an existing RDA that's already out there. It's got a couple of nice little tweaks to it, but they haven't reinvented the wheel. So don't think that you are missing out on a great deal here. Uh, I have to be, yeah, completely open and honest in that one. Um, if you're interested, lots of places you can still buy it. Uh, I do know Rob, Steam Island has still got them in the Isle of Wight. I will pop a link to his site in the description. Thank you to the Alliance Tech guys for giving me this. They did give it to me free. They didn't ask me to review it, but I thought it would be nice to just drop a little update and let you know what the differences are. But to you guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye for now.